In today's video, we're going to be checking out my insane no recoil Amez 85 class here in Black Ops 6. Seeing how good the XM4 is, I wanted to make a more long range AR class setup. And in my opinion, the Amez 85 is overlooked quite a bit in the AR category. With that being said, let's jump straight into the class setup. Starting off over on a more personal choice, we're going to be using the Kepler Microflex over on the optic. If you like the iron sights or like a different optic, you can go with whatever you want. Now to help this gun with the more long range gun fights over on the barrel, we're going to be using the long barrel. This is going to boost your damage range quite a bit. And to give it the no recoil feel, we're going to be using the vertical foregrip over on the under barrel. The horizontal recoil control is definitely something that you need on this gun. I feel like the gun definitely jumps side to side quite a bit. And over on the magazine, we're going to be going with the extended mag one. This is going to give your mag size 45 rounds. And over on the rear grip, we're going to be using the CQB grip. And the reason why I use this rear grip personally is for the sprint to fire speed. I think in this game, sprint to fire speed is definitely lackluster and this rear grip helps out a lot. Looking into the detailed stats, you can see how much these attachments really help this gun. I highly recommend giving this class setup a go and if you do, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to be posting videos every single day, so if you guys want to stay up to date, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on noties. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, today we're going to be using the Amez 85 or Amez. I don't know exactly how you say it. We're over on some good old skyline. I don't have a UAV right now or a harp. I'm planning on sometime permanent unlocking it, but I'm basically prestiging every single day now. um i want to get like a high kill gameplay for you guys i don't know how likely a nuke is gonna be but we're gonna definitely try our best here my gun didn't reload let me pick up this guy's gun and and run They have a UAV that is not great, not good. All right, start on this ammo pack here. All right, I'm a, I'm a move. That was lucky. If I can get a nuke without a stem UAV and a harp, then I must be doing something right. But I could barely even get one with a UAV, so. Um, also, I have diamond ARs. I don't know if I've said that. I mean, my luck, right? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on a 20, I think. And then I died to a bouncing Betty. And I, I knew he threw it, but I just didn't, didn't care. I can almost barely see those things, too. Unless I have engineer on. It's really weird. I just got hit by something. What the heck was that? We're kind of frying right now, though. Let's push over here and help our teammates. Get killed from behind. My hardest problem whenever I don't have a UAV is like the spawns. I feel like they can literally spawn anywhere. So I, I do have engineer on? I didn't. 
I thought I would have seen that bouncing Betty earlier, but... That guy's got to be dead, right? I just got some text. doing why can't i i can't use any of my kill streaks I know, I know, I or I got the helicopter, but I can't use it for some reason. That is so weird. Nope, you're ready for me to go right there, and I'm gonna go around. Oh my god, that guy needs to put the sticks down. I don't know where they're spawning now. I'm hoping they're near the hard point though, because I want this game to last a little bit longer. It shouldn't be. Oh, they're spawning here. All right. Well, 59 kills. That was a little slow paced game, I would say. But GG's. Yeah.